you know how how uh baby and and his brother yeah you know yeah. and slim yeah that's that's what you know he would be the he would be the slim and p would be the baby that yeah, just to work it, it just, just to make to it make, make sense it make sense you know what i'm saying not saying that anybody was emulating anyone mm -hmm. but just to make it you know make it make you, sense Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. It's something else, man. When you, when, when you, Boss told me to ask y'all this. When I talk to y'all, Boss say, ask him, man, what did Boss mean to No Limit, man? When it, when it comes to Boss. Boss, I'm first, I'm first say this. Boss was a true, and is a true connoisseur. Shout out to Boss, man. Shout out to Boss, man. Love that dude. True connoisseur of music. True connoisseur. True connoisseur music. And a, a businessman of, you know what I'm saying? So he was P's right brain. Because they, they were in school together, you know, from, you know, elementary and stuff like that. Yeah. So Bob was, you know, Bob was like, hey, you know, P would consult with him. Bob would tell him how he felt about it. And then P would go with it. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes they would have disagreements, you know, they you know, like any Anybody friends else? or brothers, you know what I'm saying? But Boz was, you know, like you know how how uh baby and and his brother, yeah, you know, yeah. and Slim. Yeah. That's that's what you know, he would be the he would be the slim and P would be the baby. That yeah, just to work it, it, just to just make to it make, make sense. It make sense, you know what I'm saying? Not saying that anybody was emulating anyone, mm -hmm. but just to make it you know, make it make sense, make it fit. Let me ask you this, man. See, uh, Big Court, how did he, when you seen him uh, rapping and dealing with his thing, being an outside guy from Kansas, I don't know why you hanging in Wichita, mm -hmm. but <laughs> anyway, just <laughs> how, uh, what did you think of his style of rap and who he was as a person as it became the No Limit team? He was dope, man. They they came in this group called CCG. Correct. When I first met him, you know what I'm saying? He was just cool, you know what I'm saying? Just just like he is now, you know what I'm saying? Really? Great, great person, man. Great heart. You know what I'm saying? He wasn't always that big. That big. He, he, he swore. When I, when I saw him next time, I said, boy, you got swole. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I saw like him in the videos and stuff later, and they kind of find out, because he used to have the mask on at first. Yeah. Right? But kind of find out, and I find out like through the grapevine, you know that's court, right? You know that's court, nigga. And um, when I saw him at the No Limit, uh, we did a show for the, uh, like a reunion show for the Essence Fest in 2017. And it was like when we saw each other, you know. But you know, like from day one, he always been, you know, real, real good dude. And he, I understand guys from Kansas City for me, you know, living in Wichita. You know, yeah, so. yeah, yeah. So, I, I used to live in Ogden. Oh, okay. Stop playing, man. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. <laughs> I, was, I was over there before Riley. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.